All right, we got Paul starting into one here. He got located, so we're gonna get down in here without any further to do and see what we got. got a nice little privy probe. Nice black soil so far, so. All right, well, let's stay tuned for the adventure here. Let's get down there and see what we got. Okay, it hasn't taken us long to get down in there. I just come up out and took a turn down the hole. Getting a few things here. We got some oh, some old ceramic stuff, like a big pitcher, real pretty floral decorated pitcher from 1880s or 90s. And another hand painted uh, porcelain dish there. That would have been pretty. And we hit a couple blob top beer bottles broken. But they do have applied lips on them, applied blob tops on both of these. So those are probably late 80s, early 90s. And we hit a broken pickle. So it's looking like, you know, 1888 to 1895. And there's some seeds just pulled out at the very bottom before I got out of the hole. So Paul's going to open it up a little bit more and... Then we'll get down to the bottom, see if there's any bottles. It doesn't feel like there's much, just a little thin trash layer, but at least it's old enough. We just wanted to make sure we got back into the 1890s today. And... All right. A giant spider there. Paul's down in there about six feet. Still throwing out dirt. I'm getting close down there now, but I'm sure what he found here, he hit a couple pieces, look like a tea leaf coffee cup and a blue willow cup and a plain iron stone cup. Some big bones, another piece of that blue plate. He did hit a couple bottles here. We hit a little 1880s uh, unembossed drugstore bottle. Still got little white pills in the bottom of it. Another one just like it, only, again, no, nothing on them. A little square slick, 1880s, and finally an embossed one, a C.R. Bailey Perfumer out of New York. Nice little cologne bottle there. So that's about it so far. We're hoping to hit something down there. How's that feel? Well, it's just fill until we get to the bottom. Yep. Just the very bottom few inches. I felt like there was some trash down there. Not much. You can see in the back dirt, there's just hardly anything in there. Pieces of window glass. A lot of building material, like mortar. Mortar pieces. Or they mortared it plaster. Plaster to wall or something. All right, Dad's down in there now. Yep, working on a beer. He's working on a beer bottle. Or a whiskey. Come on, baby, be embossed. Oh, it's on Nothing on it. Man, isn't that a Look shame. at that. Nice old blob beer. Yeah, we're Man. definitely in mid to early 80s now. Yep. We, we found a pumpkin seed flask. Yeah. Well, at least we're hitting some whole bottles. Yeah. Always potential, ain't there? Nice to hit 80s anyhow. Yeah, I've little got little a bottle. pumpkin seed whiskey flask, a little half pint. Comes one. And it's actually got there. embossed. Is it really? Sealies. Sealies. <laughs> Don't say much. <laughs> yeah, we've seen them before. Yeah, I think it's from Kansas or something, man. Little sealies, probably an extract or something. Well, take everything we can get right now. Yeah. A lot of seeds. Yeah. A couple more broken bottles here. Some broken stuff. Like another beer and another pumpkin seed flask there. A bunch of eggshells. Broken yeah, there was a paneled medicine. 
it was a uh, older 70s got the straight line hinge mold seam yeah well we'll keep digging see what else is in here yeah oh Oh, it's a slick. Oh. A little drug, a iron stone. Oh. <laughs> well, oh. we're getting close. Yeah, we're close. <laughs> be happy to see some embossed drugs. back if we see another bottle here yeah all right Paul's turning the hole here he's uh, right on the bottom and right in the step right sticking out of our ledge there there was a neck sticking out yeah and it's I don't know if you can get it coffin oh flask. a coffin yeah. flask yep right Shoe fly or half pint coffin flask. Yeah. Yeah, it's about right in the wall there in that corner. Bottom. I don't think I'd go any more into that. That's that's looking pretty creepy over there. The old sand wall that was a wood liner, but the Wood's long gone, now it's just sand, it's gonna fall in on us. Well, you're right here with us. Discover whatever we hit. You can see the bottom. It's yep. all white, hard pack. It's a nice little trash zone, though, down in there. Yeah, looks a little better to get going this way. Yeah. I think so. Broken stuff. Definitely 1880s. I don't even know if you need that little smaller blade shovel. Getting it. Yeah. Like coal in there. Yeah. I can see a bit or something pop out of there. Oh, it's just fun because you just never know what could be in there. What could be next? Yellowware plate. Or something. Oh yeah, it's like 1870s, early 80s. fruit jar. Mmm, yep. Uh-oh, something weird. Was it? Lafayette? Or Lafayette, yeah. It's in script. It sure was. It was a Lafayette jar. Man, that'd have been a good one. Can't see it very good, but it was a Lafayette. Well, maybe they threw away an amber one. <laughs> yeah, there's a blob sticking out. Ooh, what could that be? Hope it ain't one of them slick ones. No, we could get an embossed one. Yeah, it ain't, ooh, it's way in here. Yeah. I cut the shelf to get to it. Yeah. Just have to knock it in.
bottom to a big pumpkin seed. Oh, that looked like a quart size one. That's a big thing. Another bottom. Hey, all right. I might need a different shovel. All right. Let me go and get a uh, smaller blade shovel. Here's a, need a hand digger help you? Yeah, that might help. Let me see here. Got one of those here. Now I'll go get that other one here in a minute. I'll wait and record this, what this is. I know you're going to pull out a unknown bitters bottle or... Ooh, it's a medicine. Is it? Come on, baby. Oh, it's boss. a Kilmer's, but it's an older oh, one. Oh, that's a it's good one. It's got the old... Yeah. Uh, old double ring yep, on it that's got that ring neck that's it early bladder pure yeah all right paul that's a good bottle i haven't seen that for a while yeah man that's a goodie yeah that's a hundred dollar bottle all right sure is that's our first really good find of the day it's dr kilmer's swamp root kidney liver and bladder cure but you see the neck on that that's the very first kilmer swamp roots had that ring on that neck early in the 1880s yeah, all right, man. That's a good find. Oh, this was a Score. chimney. It's almost oh, whole. Oh, wow. Look at that. The bottom's a little gone. But... Yeah. We might be able to salvage something out of that. Mm. Look at the seeds in the top. Of it. It's full of seeds from, from the doo-doo, from the dookie. Yeah. On Green Day, dookie. All right. Set that up there. Cool. Still working on that blob? Yeah, it's in there real slow. Oh, it is, okay. I'm curious about that one. Well, good, I'm glad that Kilmer's was whole. Yeah. That was a nice find. At least you got that to look forward right. to. Here comes that beer. Here it comes, drum roll. Oh, oh nothing on no. it, but it's real pretty iridescent. Man, it sure is. Wow, that'll be a pretty one, but boy, yeah. oh, oh boy. applied lip. Oh man, that could have been something really cool, but I like it. Yeah, it's got a nice drippy applied lip on it. 1880s. Old 1880s, a blob beer with a lot of iridescence. All right, man, that's cool. Yeah. All right, Paul's pulling one out here, and it, hey, it's embossed. Oh, it's a hoster, but it's Host really oh, pretty. Oh, man. Really pretty iridescence. Ooh, that is pretty. One of the best beers I've seen for iridescence. Oh, And, and look it's a it. light amber. Is it? Cool. Yep. That's an early hoster. C and Co. Lim. Yeah, that's definitely an 80s. But look at the iridescence. Oh, nice find, Paul. Wow, that is pretty. Whoo. Yeah, that really helps that bottle. That's not a real, real rare bottle, but boy, with that nice coloring, you can see it's got an applied blob top. C and Company Limited on the bottom, Cunningham out of Pittsburgh. All right, that's a sweet find. That's a beer hole. Yeah. All right, man. Okay, well, I'm going to... Get me something to drink here. Keep it going, man. You got hitting some stuff there at least. All right, Paul's working on something down in there. Got some bones. Yeah, there were some bones, but there was a. I almost broke it. It's a toothbrush. Hey, all right. Nice bone toothbrush in good condition. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Nothing wrong with it. I don't see any markings on it, but it's no. it's one of them thicker that's nice. That's an early bone toothbrush, yeah. though. Good. All right, man. All right here next to it's another pumpkin seed flask. Oh, good. He just pulled this out, too. This is a Northwestern Homeopathic Pharmacy, Chicago. Nice little 1880s homeopathic drug bottle. Little pumpkin seed flask. Yay, another pumpkin seed. Yeah, that's good. We like those. We sure do. <laughs> we'll take all them we can get. Anybody has any of these pumpkin seeds and you don't need them or you want to sell them or trade them, send us a message. Leave us a comment. We like pumpkin seed flasks. These little oval seed-shaped flasks. See? Any size. We want them all, don't we, Paul? Yeah. We'll take them. Another broken fruit jar down there. Open wax sealer. Oh, pull out one of them Lafayettes, man. Get one of them in amber or something. We can uh, buy another house. Yeah. Right. <laughs> buy another. 
Yeah, our cobalt, we can buy another dump, man. <laughs> no, it's fine. Lid liner. Lid liner. It's got to be for an old yeah, jar. It's got to be old. It's got to be 1880s. We save almost all of them when they're this old. He's working right along the bottom there. A lot of bones. Does it seem trashier on that side? Yeah, it seems like it's. this oh, is good. probably the back wall over here. All right. These uh, outhouse privies, the back wall, you can always tell because it's where the holes were at, the seats where they were seated. And uh, that's where they threw the trash down in there. They usually had one hole on one end or the other of the privy, and they would use that to throw their garbage. So, of course, big come. salt glazed jar. Oh, really? Is it right broke? on the bottom. Not yet. <laughs> oh. Not from what I can see yet. Hey. I see the, the lip of it. Yeah. If I can get down in there, I'm going to try to grab okay. it. Okay, I know it's hard. There's not much room, is there? It's probably broke, but you never oh, know. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. It's got oh, it's a root. Oh, it's it looks. Broke. Oh, it's broken the bottom. The bottom's bottom. gone. The bottom. Oh, look oh, at look that. Oh, look at that. That was older. Man, that is a nice early one. That's that, hand thrown. That was probably 1850s, wasn't Maybe, it? Yeah, or 60s. Maybe we'll find the bottom of it. Yeah, look at that. You can see, look at how it's hand thrown. See the ridges on the inside where the potter's fingers hold the clay. See that? That's how you can throw your hand thrown. You can't see that, see, from the outside. But on the inside, when it's broke, you can see them ridges like that. That's cool. This is called salt glaze. A, one of the early ways here in Illinois. That's probably a regional piece in Illinois, maybe. But, um, yep. After they potted it and they threw it through uh, salt into the, the kiln when it was being fired and it stuck onto the side of these. They call it salt glaze. So we'll watch for the bottom of that. Maybe we'll get lucky and find the bottom in here. So, all right. Well, that was still kind of cool. There's an ink bottle. Hey, an ink. Just an aqua cone. All right. A little cone ink. Yep. Hey, we'll take them. It's got a crude lip. Yeah, it does. Nice crude lip on there. Yeah, unembossed, but hey, at least they did some writing. <laughs> it's kind of fun. They they were concerned with their oral hygiene, which is kind of unusual. Oh, there was a, a knife handle. Ooh, sure was. It's not great condition. Yeah, but... the metals come off of there, didn't it? Yeah, it was a, probably a butter knife. Bone handle. Or no, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, I think that was just a regular knife. But hey, we'll keep it. I think it might have been a pocket knife, but I, know. I don't know if that's that could possibly be a folding knife. I that thought it was a knife. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to look at that. That's that's interesting. It's all corroded there, but it's odd that it's got that thick there. Like it might have been some kind of a pocket knife. I'm gonna have to investigate that one. I believe it was, Paul. I don't think that was a butter knife. It's interesting. We'll look at that some more. No. Man, I hope we find the bottom of that salt glaze. That'd no, be I was nice. looking for it. Yeah. There's something. Oh, it's oh, it's broke. Whatever broke. It is. Well, it's exciting though. I love it. <laughs> oh, it was a JoJo. Oh, JoJo. Yeah. Huh. That's broke though. Mm-hmm. Some of this stuff, and we'll come back. Paul gets a bottle. In. That's a bottle. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hang on here then. Watch you dig it. Something aqua. We're gonna all sit and watch this together. It's a big medicine. It looks like Ooh. one in Kilmer's. Really? Yep. Wouldn't that be cool if it was? It, it is. It is another yes, one. Nice. All, right. all right. What's yeah. the odds of that? We're both gonna get one of them ring neck Look Kilmer's. at that. All right. Hey, Paul. Those are so hard to find. They are hard to find, man. I'm telling right. you. We got two of them. Sweet. All right, man. That was awesome. <laughs>
Yay. Oh, there's a snowflake lid. Oh, yeah. That's a real nice. One of them. Let me is see that. that. It's Tudor yeah, Rose. Tudor Rose. Yep, oh. you're right. Yeah, that was a nice lid there. The zinc's gone, but we call that Tudor Rose or snowflake design there. I don't know if you can see that very good, but. All right. Well, this is getting really exciting, man. We're finding some, find some cool stuff in there. It's getting a little better looking going. All right. Towards this, you know, where I'm sitting. Yeah. Hey, 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 man. Well, it's been a good hole now. We're... Ooh, what's that's a little ink or no wood? Oh, that's a little medicine yeah, or something. Yeah, but it's Look. iridized too. Nice iridescent. Yeah. yeah. I guess that could be an ink. It's it a little might square. Be. Yeah, like a little oil bottle or something. Real pretty iridescence. Yeah, that soil just really that turned them thin nice. Layer is producing. It sure is. It's not very thick, but it goes to show it doesn't take much. Yep. All right. I gotta dig some more dirt out. All right. Well, Paul's gonna clear some out, and I'm gonna grab a snack. So. All right. Old uh, pops turning the hole. Got a pumpkin seed flask. All right, working on a jar there. It's probably probably broken, but hey, there's a little ink maybe. Yeah. Yeah, a clear cone. Another little clear one. That's a clear cone ink. There. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Yeah, this side's looking pretty good in here. I'll try and knock some of this in so you can see. Oh, there's another bottle there. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the back wall. Oh, I think you're right. Oh, is... We came down on the front wall, which we thought was the back wall. Yeah. But that happens all the time. Oh, wow. You know, it's so funny because it's like many holes as we've dug as many years, it just never gets tiring, does it? No. It comes this jar or whatever oh, that come is. come on. Come on, baby. Oh, that top's broke on it. And it oh, was a... no. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. Patented... June 22nd, 1865. Oh, oh no, man. how bad's the chip? The front, it's the got front the chip. front. Yeah. Oh, Maybe we'll shoot. find that piece. Oh, that was a good jar. That was a good one there. I'm gonna look around for that piece right near it here. Real carefully where we come at it. It's, it was an old break, but you know, sometimes when they threw it in at the same time, hey, there's a little dinker bottle. A little sample. I don't think it's got anything on it. A little on. extract. A little sample med looking. A little aqua one. Huh. Don't see anything on it, but. Oh boy, it's so fun though. I just love it. Alright, I'm gonna pull this. I don't know what it is. It's amber. It might be a beer. Come on, baby. Oh, oh fun and boy. Nothing boss. on it. Another applied top one. It's got R and Company on the bottom, though. Yeah. But yeah, it's a nice amber applied blob. Wow. All right. Just finish up the wall over here. Oh, there's another cone ink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, we're scoring on the cone inks. That one's got a real crude bottom. Hey, yeah. it's pollen. <laughs> it's not, but it's pretty neat. All right. There's a little square boot polish bottle. It's a slick. Oh boy, it's just fun though because of the bottles. Yeah. Yeah, that's about this side wall there. Boy, I wish we could find the rest of that fruit jar, that stone there. Probably not going to. I'm a... All right. Yeah, it's a brick, some chicken bones. Dad's got a wasp flying around no, him. I heard him. Uh, he won't bite much. Nah, he won't bite much. <laughs> okay, he now he's it. on your shoulder now. All right. Now you might want to, okay, there he goes. Shoot. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna <laughs> joke around if he gets stung 14 <laughs> gets times. Stung. Yeah, oh, he was just, just one sting, you know. Just a little wasp. Yeah, I better <laughs> <leave this. laughs> All, right. All right. There's bottles to be dug. Okay, I better load right. these out. Yeah, here we are on another lot. We finished out that hole and we did some probing, stopped to get something to eat. And yeah, we did a lot of probing. A lot of probing. A lot of probing. <laughs> <laughs> Try
trying to find a nice shady spot. We finally found one. It's pretty hot today, so isn't it, Paul? Yeah, it's getting hot now. It's just humid, so anyway, Paul's got one going here, and we'll come back and see what it looks like here right away. I got one right over here on the other side of Paul. And then, I don't know why mine's not as deep as his, but a little bit of coal there. I've been chopping these little trees. There's a hundred of these little saplings in here, so I've had to chop back a bunch of those. So, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll report back when we find something. So stay with us, we're not done yet. All right, Paul's getting down his, and it is not very exciting. No, it's not very old, but I did get a Dr. Pepper 1024 soda. Yeah, you got a marble too, didn't you? Some yeah, of and a few, a few blankers. Yeah, it got some slick druggists there. Not very old. But yeah, nice little green and yeah. white slag marble. Nice little marble come out of there. We got quite a few of them, but we always show them anyway. What's that one? It's got something on it there. Stunt. <laughs> Punt. Yeah, it's a it's just a really new one. Yeah. Maybe uh, 1920s. 20s in the bottom, maybe. Yeah, wow. Well, he's going to finish it out. Maybe we'll find a milk bottle or something cool. Can't all be good, can they? No. I wish they were, but that's not the way privy digging is. Get a lot of duds. All right. Well, while he's finishing that one up, I'll come over here to mine. Well, mine's a little older. It's not great, but... Getting some beer bottles. They're hand blown. They're all hand finished uh, crown tops. I've got two of these Terre Haute Brewing Company bottles. You see, both of them are hand blown. We've got two of these amber hand blown crown top beers. They say AB Co. on the bottom. Get a broken Columbia jar. It's half gallon Columbia, it said. Would have been cool, but it's broke. And we've got. Keeper Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. This it is hand blown it's from H.E. Buckland, Chicago. We find those in the jug dump. But anyway, down there close to the bottom. It's pretty close to six feet down there. I just dug a little hole. And uh, right on bottom, there's just a few things. There's not much. So I'll go ahead and dig that shelf out, finish it up. Hopefully, hit a couple things. So we'll come back and show you if we find anything. Yeah, probably a real nice old morphine bottle down in there. Yeah. You there, real hand blown? NYD or something. One of the only hand blown bottles in there. Look at this, it got a little, them little uh, Japanese uh, doll nursers. Fake white milk glass hand blown. Little miniature doll nurser. Yeah, little glass doodad there, and swizzle stick, got a Dray Perfect Mason. Yep, and that would have been my best and a find. Mason's Patent 1858, nice yeah. clear cork. So yeah, well it wasn't total uh, total wipeout. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fill that one in. I'm gonna fill mine in. Just got finished with it too down in there. And, Pulled out some more Terre Haute Brewing Company beers. Half pint flask. Another Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. So got two of them out of there, but eh, not much. Only little slicks. So all right, we're gonna fill these in. I don't know if we got enough energy for another one or not. <laughs> we'll have to see. I don't know. <laughs> all right, well we tuckered out. <laughs> We, uh, we dug three privies to the bottom, and we did some probing. We lined up a couple more, but it was just too hot, and we were too tired, so we called it a day, and uh, haven't had a chance to clean anything up yet. We're just getting ready to divide these up, so I thought we'd show them real quickly, and um, Paul will be here any minute, so we'll probably 
go ahead and choose these bottles, but our best one's probably these two. We got a pair of these uh, Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root Kidney, Liver, and Bladder Cures with the ring neck. You see, they're longer uh, ring neck, and those are the harder to find ones. So those are really nice bottles, and those are worth about $100 a piece uh, now. So, all right, that was cool. We got a pair of these also, a pair of Dr. King's New Discovery for Coughs and Colds. So um, <coughs> that works out real good. We'll each get one of these medicines. <laughs> we got four of those, Dr. Uh, Terre Haute Brewing Company from Terre Haute, Indiana. They're all aqua hand-blown uh, applied top crown top uh, beers uh, this was a nice one it's a hoster from Columbus Ohio which is not particularly a rare bottle but that one's got such beautiful iridescence on it that makes that bottle uh, a lot better it does have an applied blob top and Cunningham on the bottom you can see this iridescence it kind of flakes away like that but see how pretty that is underneath there so anyway you see it floating around there all right, but that's a pretty good bottle. And we got a pair of other blob beers. One of them's got some iridescence on it. So and they're both applied blob tops. Come out of that first whole 1880 stuff. And this was a really good one. And we actually found the other piece to it. So Paul was cleaning out the inside of the jar. And thankfully they put the piece that was broken out uh, inside the jar. So we'll be able to glue that back in there. Uh, it's patented June 27th, 1865. <clears throat> it's a very rare jar. Actually, it's booked at $1,000 and up. You know, and that's if it had the original closure. Which, you know, we never found the lid. We looked for it. But, uh, but anyway, it's still a cool jar. And uh, we were proud to get that one. We never found the rest of that stoneware salt glaze jar either. But it'll look good sitting there. <laughs> Oh, there's another blob beer. That was another plain one. Well, R and Company. Might as well be plain. Yeah, we found a little Ironstone coffee cup. Found some cone inks. Three of them. One of them's clear. So that's kind of nice. That'll turn purple. Got three of those. They're all 1880s. Uh, a little salt shaker of some kind. Got a little square block pattern on it. Hand blown ball. And this is another one that's got some iridescence. Kind of pretty, unembossed. And we got a few other little doodads down here. The Northwestern Homeopathic Pharmacy from Chicago. It's an 1880s bottle. Uh, homeopath was a type of uh, medicine real popular in the 1800s and actually still is to today, where um, it's a view of medicine where by giving little tiny uh, minuscule doses of something that it uh, causes your body to it's kind of like a, a vaccination get your body to fight off illnesses anyway a uh, little sample medicine here got a pipe bowl never found any more of the stem or anything in there it's odd and got a little uh, folding knife here with a bone handle you know it's not going to be able to be salvaged but it's pretty cool it's a little pocket knife it's old, uh, probably from 1860s or 70s. Somebody in the Civil War might have carried that. You never know. And a bone toothbrush. It might have something on this handle. It probably does. I can't make it out, but anyhow, that's a nice old bone toothbrush. And would have had hog bristles, hog hair bristles on there. And they're long gone. They disintegrate being in the ground. And uh, here's a fruit jar liner. On the lid, and that was uh, snowflake. You see, it's got the Tudor rose or snowflake design there. So it's for mason jars, porcelain line cap for mason fruit jars. So, yeah, wish it had the zinc to it, but that's a pretty good lid anyway. And yeah, we got some other stuff. There's a little ink well. It's the top missing. How it would have had a bake light top. This is some stuff Paul got out of that newer hole, that last one, but did hit a hand blown uh, morphine bottle here. And we got a spoon out of one of them. I don't remember which one. A few other things there. Pint ball mason. Quart dray perfect mason. You got a Dr. Pepper. Good for life. <laughs> and you also got a uh, mason's patent 1858. Clear one. Those are nice. We turn them purple and get 45 bucks a piece out of them. So 
Well, it's made some money. Just some broken china we saved for art projects and stuff. A little beautiful hand paint. Came out of that 1880 stuff. And we got four little pumpkin seed flasks. A few other little odds and ends there. Our Sealy's. Uh, lamp chimney. It's broken off on the very bottom, but we decided to keep it. But all right, well that's about it. We had fun. It was a good day, and we're looking forward to some more privy digs coming up. And I'm sure we'll be digging back at the jug dump here uh, probably this week at some point. Paul's got a gig Saturday night in Litchfield, Illinois. If any of you are in our area, man, come on out. <laughs> but all right, well we appreciate you watching. We thank you for uh, coming along with us on our adventure, and. We'll I guess we'll see you in the next video.